Okay, hey everyone, and welcome to another Class 66 Rocks Stobart review. Now, this next set of trucks which I'm going to be looking at is going to be split into 15 parts. Um, as there's 15 trucks in this series that I'm going to be showing you. Um, so, I'll now take a look at the model so you can understand a bit more about it. So, today we are looking at... I think, yeah, an Oxford die-cast Scania Highline with Stobart Super League trailer. Um, now, when I said about these being in 15 parts, as you can see here, the truck I'm looking to take a look at today is product code SHL01FR for just Field Giants Scania Highline. And as you can see there, we've got the Huddersfield Giants logo. So now let's take a look at the back of the box so I can just explain a bit more about it and then we'll get more in depth with the review. So as you can see on the bottom here it says why not collect all the Eddie Stobart Scania High Lines in this series. So as you can see we've got Huddersfield Giants, Hull FC, Warrington Wolves, Wigan Warriors, Catalan Dragons, Leeds Rhinos, St Helens, Salford City Reds, Bradford Bulls, Hull Kingston Rovers, London Broncos, Wakefield Wildcats, Castleford Tigers, Witness Vikings and the Stobart Rugby Super League which is a truck with a Super League trailer and all 15 captains featured down the side. So I hope you got that all in. So now let's take a closer look at the box then. So as we can see it's presented in a very nice style box, um, obviously in the Stobart design along with incorporating the Stobart Super League logo. Um, I don't think the Stobart Super League exists anymore. Um, I think Super League took it back from Stobart because it was something to do with money or something like that. I uh, can't really remember what the real reason was, but I'm sure it was something to do with funding. Um, I'm not too sure if the Super League trailer still exists. Uh, last time I saw them was last year, so I don't know where they are now. So let's take a look at the model then. So let's slowly take away this outside casing. Now I am going to be keeping it in the display box just till I've got a shelf to put them on. Um, as I really want to have these separate from my other models because they're actually a set. So, but as you can see, these are a bit like the Atlas Edition models. Um, but the Atlas Edition, obviously, I've got the words along the bottom of the plinth there. Um, but this one, it's got a very nice protective clear case over the top of the display stand as well. And that is such a really nice touch, because it gives it extra protection, I think. So, now let's take it off and have a look at the model. So, we'll just take this piece of plastic off here. So, here it is, the Scania Highline in Eddie Stobart livery, and the trailer is that of Huddersfield Giants. So, let's take a look at the front of the cab first. So, as you can see, this is the front of the Scania Highline cab. Um, the name on this is Maggie Ann. And it's the registration number PO12ZLE. Now I think this is based off an R440 or an R420. The writing is that small, even the camcorder isn't picking it up. But as you can see, we've got the Stobart design incorporated onto the front here, along with the Stobart wording just across the top here. So now let's take a look at the side of the truck. So as we can see, on the side, it is a six wheel trapped unit. Um, across the top here, we've got the Stobart Group website, which is stobartgroup.com. We've got the outstanding Stobart arrow design all around the side of the door panel here. And here, we've also got the fleet number, which is H6425, and it's called Maggie Ann. So, moving across now to the trailer. As we can see, it's a refrigerated trailer, um, hence this fridge unit on the front here, 
Um, the chilled trailers are mainly used for refrigeration work, uh, chilled. Um, it's a bit like Tesco, really, um, because where I work, Stobart's deliver to us and we get chilled deliveries all the time. So, usually, some of these trailers have a temperature box just round here as well. Um, I'm not too sure whether Oxford Diecast have put one of them on here. I don't think they have. Um, but that's got all the temps. It's like a little black box with green sections in that tells you your fridge temperatures. As each um, section of the trailer is split into zones. So going off my experience from Stobart's living to us, at the front you'll have your frozen. Um, that comes under minus 21. Um, then obviously you'll have like your produce sort of items that's in the next zone that's plus 12 and then you've got like ambient like eggs and bread and what have you and that is at plus one so on with the review now and as you can see along the side here we've got an absolutely outstanding design um, I'm not too sure of the names of the Super League captains so um, unfortunately I won't be able to tell you what this guy's name is um, as I don't follow rugby <laughs> But as we can see, we've got half Eddie Stobart writing in the background here, and the rugby player just across the top. Um, with the obviously with the rugby ball, and um, we've got the Stobart Super League website. Um, not too sure whether that's still in existence anymore. Probably SuperLeague.co.uk is, but I'm not too sure if Stobart still sponsor it. Um, moving along, we've got Sky Sports branding here um, which is a major TV company <laughs> well you probably all know that anyway but I sort of mention it and obviously it's on a Friday night and here we've got something about Heinz Big Soup uh, I think that says in association with um, so I'm not too sure what Heinz Soup's got to do with rugby but if any of you know please leave your comments below um, as we can see it is also a triaxle trailer, hence the three wheels on either side of the trailer. So, now let's turn it round and move to the back of the truck. So, this is the back of the truck. And as we can see, we've got one of the rugby players on the back of the left-hand door here. Um, and it says here, sports should be following your local team, Stobart Super League. And this is the website for Huddersfield Giants, which is giantsrl.com. And as you can see again, we've got the Sky Sports branding there. And um, obviously when it's on there, um, and the type of trailer that it is on either side here. And on the bottom here, we've got our indicators on brake lights there and there we've also got the number plate and some reflective strips i think that's what they are or because i don't think the hazard warning panels i think they're just reflective strips so now let's move on to the other side and as we can see again it's exactly the same on this side but if you look this side the captain is now facing the opposite way and it's very cleverly done this is how the design's been put onto this so it looks like he's going either way on either side. But as you can see again, we've got the rugby player overlapping the Eddie Stobart writing there. Um, same wording down the sides as well, so nothing's really changed there. And it is the same on the front of the cab again. Obviously, again, we've got the fleet number just there. Um, but that's it and I've just noticed that this tyre seems to be coming off its rim um, so when I take the truck off the stand I will have to put that back on again but that's it basically the first truck in the Stobart Super League series Huddersfield Giants by Oxford Diecast 